Let's have a look at how to adjust page margins, orientation and paper size in Microsoft Word. We'll start with page margins. The margins are the area of the document where you cannot put text. You have a look at what we've got on the screen. We've got also some standard text there about the quick brown fox. And you can see the nice straight line down the left hand side and a line down the right hand side into which the text doesn't go. If you look at the ruler bar, it's this grey area here. We can put text in the white area. We can't put text in the grey margin area. If we adjust the margin area, it means we can get more or less text on the screen. And that's what we're going to demonstrate first. You can see by this arrow that I've created that the left margin and right margin, the tips of the arrows, are about where those margins start. So let's adjust the margins and see what effect it has. And we do that from the File menu. We select File and drop down to Page Setup. When we click on Page Setup, it brings up the Page Setup dialog box with three tabs across the top. Layout, that we won't be using in this video, Paper and Margins. So we're working with the Margins tab first and simply to adjust the margins, all we need to do is adjust the figures in these text boxes. Top, bottom, left and right. I only talked about left and right margins there, but of course every page also has a top margin and a bottom margin as well. So to adjust these, we simply adjust these boxes. Now we can use these rollover arrows to do this by clicking up to increase and down to decrease the numbers, or we can type inside that box. Again, we don't have to type centimetres, Whatever is the default unit on your computer, the computer knows that. So you only need to put in the numbers. So let's try adjusting this then. I'll leave that oops, as it was. File page setup. And we'll just adjust the left and right margins to see what effect that's going to be. Let's increase these to 6 centimetres on the left and 6 centimetres on the right. We then select OK, and those changes were made to the document. And you can see what has happened there. The text has been shrunk down, and there's no text in this margin now that is 6 centimetres on the left and 6 on the right. We're giving less space on the page to text. So that was File, Page Setup, and just adjusting the numbers in the boxes. Now I tend to set all mine at 1.5 centimeters. It's a choice, it's up to you. You'll need to play around a little bit depending on what kind of printer you have. Some printers will not print that close to the edge of the page. So you need to adjust them and try it and see what effect it will have. I like 1.5, that'll be centimeters. And you can see we've still got a decent side margin but you can fit more text on the page. So that's my preference, and that's setting up page margins. So the next thing we'll have a look at is the page orientation. And that is which way around the page is when you put the text on it. There's two possible orientations for your page, as demonstrated in these very basic diagrams. We've got portrait, which generally means that the, the, the piece of paper that you will print out, or its visual representation on the screen, is taller than it is wide. So it's narrower and taller. Landscape is this turned on its side, so it then becomes longer and less tall. Portrait, landscape. The document that I've got on the screen at the moment is portrait. If I zoom right out, you should be able to see that quite easily. It's taller than it is wide. That's portrait. We can adjust this again using the page setup menu. 
and we select file we select file page setup and it's simply selecting which of these two orientations we wish and this is on the margins tab we've got portrait is already selected you can see it's got a blue border around the outside that means that's currently selected I'm going to switch it to landscape just by clicking on the picture with the left mouse button once that's selected we click OK and we can see there the page has been turned on its side the writing is still the right way up it hasn't changed the writing it still goes left to right but you can see it's turned on its side now if I zoom that in you can see the writing is normal so that's landscape where it's wider than it is tall let's set it back to portrait file drop down to page setup select the margins tab click on portrait orientation and then OK and it flips it back round to the portrait orientation and of course the beauty is that all your text gets automatically sorted out for you so that's changing the orientation of the page so we've looked at the margins zoom that out we've looked at the margins which is the amount of white space you've got around the outside of the text we've looked at orientation of the page we'll look now at the size of the page and again it's the same system of accessing this it's file drop down to page setup and this time we're not going to use the margins tab but we're going to use the paper tab and it's quite simply here the paper size we've got a drop down menu to be able to make our choices a4 is the standard in uh, in the uk and it tells you here what dimensions those are it's 21 centimeters by 29.7 americans tend to use the letter style i believe all we need to do is click on the drop down arrow and choose the size of paper that we want to put into our printer For example if I choose A3 you can see the size of the paper is bigger it's now 29.7 wide but 42 centimeters tall once you've made your selection you click OK and the page is now bigger a lot taller that's file page setup on the paper tab simply select the size of the paper that you want to work with you can even select envelope sizes there's all kinds of different things and you can set your own custom size as well and make these dimensions anything you want it to be let's make it 5 by 30 centimeters and then OK and your page is set up accordingly don't worry that's gone on to three pages don't worry about that for now so file page setup we've used the paper tab to adjust the paper size and we've used the margins tab to adjust the margins the amount of space around the outside of the text and the orientation of the paper